All right, so I'm back. <clears throat> Say hello to Jimothy Faraday, everybody. Yeah. So last video, we uh, spent 10 minutes dying, which is why this video is going up the same day, just a little bit later, because, uh, yeah. So new rule. We are never going to engage with more than five zombies at a time. We see a horde, we just run. Unless we have a shotgun or something that can, like, deal a bunch of damage. But since we always seem to be snuck up behind, we have to be in an open area if we want to do that. Like a park or something like that, right? So let's go play and see where we spawn. Depending upon where we spawn, there's some places that I want to check out that I, I looked up to kind of see what was what, right? <sighs> Hopefully we can spawn in. Find some sort of weapon or something, right? Get a uh, car. And then get to where I want to go, or back to the uh, the base, right? That's the goal. That's the goal. Oh yay, we've already been here before. Well, we can at least grab an empty bottle, some cigarettes, a beer can for the road. Because we can grab some dirty bandages. We don't really have much else we can do there. While we're here, why don't we go ahead and uh, eat from this can of up here. I'm going to clean the bandage first, because that's a little more important than drinking, since we do have that beer can, right? All right, so is there anything I can use as a weapon in this house? I've probably already taken it, since this is not my first time in here. But we should check anyway. Grab that eraser. I'll grab that pen. So I can at least write on the map if I find anything interesting. <sighs> An alarm clock there and nothing in there. All right. So let's see. Where did we spawn, ladies and gentlemen? We spawned down here. Which is very good for us, because right here is where I want to go. I was looking up the location of gun stores, and I found that... I believe it is... This one. The gun store. Is there a gun icon on the map? There is. Oof. So we're going to be heading down there. Which means we're going to go ahead and... Go back this way, cut across there as well as we can, and hopefully... Find some sort of backpack or something as we go out there. All right, but it's time to bully some zombies. It's gonna be my goal. And since we've already been in this neighborhood, there's probably nothing around that we can really use unless we go to, uh, see that door right there is open? Been in that house before. Oh, is, is, are these dead zombies? Excuse me. Let me just go ahead and uh, see if I can get anything good off of them. Ooh, jackpot. It might be soaked, but that's fine with me. Dirty rags. I was really hoping for uh, something else there. Like a weapon of some sort, but that's fine. Uh, we got a little bit of protection. That's really all we need right now. And you know what? I think we'll, uh, while we're moving today, just sort of try to level up nimble by doing this. Getting in our fighting stance as we're moving around. A little cautious. Let's check out the fire truck. I'm pretty sure I've already been here, but I might as well take this plastic bag and equip it in my offhand. It's something I can use to carry stuff with. You remember previously when we uh, bashed this And then got herself bloodied. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. We're basically just straight across here, huh? Man, there's a burned house and a burned house right here. What the hell happened in this neighborhood? I think I'm going to go back this way. See, the nimble experience is gaining slowly but surely. See if I can get in this garage. Maybe they'll have like a pipe or something I can use to 
bash someone. Are there any windows? There is a window. I need a weapon to like bash it. Well, let's just try to open it. Ho oh, ho. We made it in, boys. Oh, got a camo boonie hat, but that's not as good as our thing. First time I've seen one of those. We have an empty gas can. There we go, metal bars. All right. Whew, we're in business. I'm gonna attach this hammer to my uh, my waist belt here. Take that other metal pole, and we're gonna grab a gas can as well, just in case we find a vehicle and we need to, you know, do something with it, right? That way we'll have all that sorted. Oh, I see a zombie there. You see him? Hey, buddy, you want to come and uh, die for me? There you go. You got a watch? You do. Thank you very much, sir. Very helpful of you. Now I can actually keep track of what time it is. Let's check this side as well. I'd love to find a, a backpack or some sort of thing uh, that I could put on my back. Oh, shit. Nope, that didn't work at all. Luckily, it's just one zombie. Anything I can put on from them? Ooh, a uh, polo sweater. That'll give me a little bit of protection. Why not? All right. What did we have here? We had a shovel, planks, trowel, gas can, wrench. Metal sheet, hammer, welding rods. I do remember I need those for metalworking stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and grab those for now. Oh, the thing is, if I jump over this fence, I won't be able to bring my bag with me. Unfortunate. Well, for now, we'll just keep moving. How about this car? Do you suppose I can get into it? No. How about the trunk? Nope. Looking around for any keys on the ground. I don't see any. It's a little hard to tell with the rain anyway, but you know, sometimes you gotta try. Do you see that zombie there? Hey. Every zombie we kill now is a zombie we don't have to kill later. Gotta find a way around this fence. Or secure a car. Ooh, there's a survivor house. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not sure where this zombie came from, but oh hey. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. God, the darkness is so dark. If we need to, we can jump over the fence behind us, so we're not in too much of a, a problem area yet. I think like they broke that uh, window there. I don't see no way in easily without taking apart the uh, barricades, which I don't think I can do without a screwdriver or a Proper hammer? The ball peen hammer is not going to cut it since it doesn't have a uh, thing on it, you know. Doors barricaded, okay. There you are. You want to uh, want to break through that for me? Twenty capacity ten. Eight capacity thirty. Hmm. Odd how this does uh, much better. Ooh, we got an orange soda. Let's drink it. I love orange soda. I do. I do. I do. Ooh. 
And now we also have two water bottles we can use here. I think I'll take this stuff. Because I don't know how long we're going to be away from our, uh, our home here. Anything that's not, you know, something I have to... Something I can just, like, eat, right? I'm just going to grab that. All right. Go ahead and uh, fill up our water bottles. And we'll take a drink. Just to bring all that out. Perfect. Oh, hello there. Where'd you come from? Were you here the whole time? Yep. I don't know where they came from, but... It was nice of them to wait until I had finished... Looting that stuff, I guess. See if they have any, like... Anything interesting in here. Glue. I always use that to repair things with. So that's good. <laughs> Zombie's still hammering away at that thing for us. So that's great. And if we need to, we can sleep in here. So that's also good. Shit. Luckily, that did not penetrate skin. Thank God for the firefighter outfit. We uh, managed to get out without a damage. Any damage there. Oof. Word search magazine and word search magazine. This family loves their word searches, don't they? Okay. Get the gas can. All right. What's it coming over there? How about this room? Oh, the bathroom. Yeah, we haven't found this yet. Ooh! Hell yes, we got a bandage. I think they finally made it through. Yep, hello there. You want to come over here? Or are you trying to get through that one? Hi. All right, well... Let's climb through and kill that one. Right, I guess judging by the fact that that was the only zombie there, we should have a fairly easy time here. Let's go ahead and remove this broken glass. Oh, not right now, though. As I was saying... No! Ooh. That could have been bad. I could have just cut myself to all hell. Now let's climb through. Hello, past inhabitants of this house. Come out, come out wherever you are. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Ooh, that's two very good things right there. I'll take both of those. That can help us out if we ever get into trouble. Right, where are the guns? Where are you hiding your guns at, huh? Come on. Show them to me. More painkillers. I'll take them. Any medical supplies are good medical supplies. So. Headphones, Gene, electric guitar, the ray. Oh, there's one more room up there, but I want to check everything else first. Oh, wait. Yeah. No? Oh? Okay. So, they gotta have weapons inside here, right? There we go. That's what I like to see. Like bat, machete, an actual proper hammer. By the way, I can actually, I think, tear stuff off of things. These alcohol wipes will come in handy for removing infection or wounds. Ooh, there we go. There's some pistols. Uh, first of all, we're going to take all the ammunition we find. I don't really care about the double barrel shotgun. Um, I don't really care about the magazines either, to be honest. I already have so many of them. Do I have an M1911 magazine? I don't know. 
But yeah, I don't I didn't see any shotgun shells there, right? Yeah. So even if I took the shotgun, it doesn't matter. The rest of the guns kind of suck unless you're good at aiming, so we're not going to deal with that. What we are going to do is open up this can and eat it. Whilst we uh, continue on. Um, so let's... What can I put into the sack? Spiked baseball bat. A machete. Nope. Put a pen in there? No, put an eraser. Nothing else is going to fit in there. Gotcha. Cool. Well, we managed to at least get some stuff, so that's cool. And now that also means that we can go ahead and break into this window. Since we actually have a weapon. We can unlock the trunk. Check the glove box. And alcohol wipes and cigarettes. Nothing to light it with. What do we got back here? Not a damn thing we need. Okay. Moving on. Alright, here we go. Chambers are wrecks, though, because we can't really use them when they're wrecked like that. Do a full circle here so I can check the map. Over here, we just gotta make a break across, hopefully. And get there. Oh, that's a couple of zombies. We don't want to deal with that. Over the fence, please. Is there a fence back here behind these houses? It looks like a low one, so I think we're fine. Okay. I'm gonna keep going down this like weird alley with a bunch of houses here until we make it to the forest. Yeah. Okay. It might be wise to find a house to hide in for the night, though. I don't know. Gnome! I need to adjust the microphone a little bit. It's getting in the way of me seeing my things up there. We'll go ahead and drink this beer can so I can get rid of it. A bunch of zombies over that way. On the ground, you go. There we go. All right. Zombie there. He's kind of in the way of where we want to go, so... I said we kill him. Again, one less zombie we're going to have to do with later. Or, uh, three less zombies that we're going to have to deal with later. Four less zombies we're going to have to deal with later, I guess. Okay. Five less zombies? Any other zombies around here I should know about? Not that I can see. But again, it's raining, and I don't like that. I'm so carrying just a little bit too much. At this rate, even if we do find a gun store, we're not going to have much luck with uh, getting any of the loot. Unless we find a car nearby it, which we could, since it is like a shopping strip mall kind of thing. Don't tell me this is a fence. It's not. Okay, perfect. Is this house unlocked? It's not. Are there any zombies nearby? Check the corner. Alright, let's see if I can open this up and break in. Come on. Come on. You got this. Excellent. I'm through. So let's go ahead and just uh, close that window. Here we go. Uh, let's secure the house. There's stairs. Okay. Bandage. Garbage bag. Don't care about that. That goes outside. Check the other cabinet room here. 
the washing machine. Living room is clear. Got a couple of magazines and stuff there. And yeah, we were just getting tired, so it's a good thing we decided to come in here. Go for the second floor where we should find all of the bedrooms and stuff. What else we got in here? Vitamins. Hmm. Don't need those right now. Go ahead and take that band-aid though. Hey, Nimble leveled up. Excellent. Alright. Next room. No, oh, it's just a little thing here. Oh, rain boots. Just like a little office room. Neat. Ooh, we got cologne and a lighter. Perfect. And some cigarettes. Excellent. Alright, last door up here. light case. All right. Looks like that's everything. We didn't find a whole lot that was useful, but we can at least sleep here in relative comfort, knowing that we're not going to get zombied, right? Okay. Go ahead and smoke a ciggy. Hmm. Should I drop this gas can so I'm not carrying around a fairly heavy load? I don't know. I suppose we could, uh, well, what's the heaviest thing we have here? Two, two, one, one, five. What would it be? Mac and cheese is the... Ah, yes, let's go ahead and eat that. Excellent. I can put a cologne, the pen, the eraser, uh, this lighter. Cigarettes? No. One of the cigarettes in there, at least. Okay. I'm going to real quick go in the bathroom and uh, fill up a water bottle. Get ourselves a... Well, we don't need a drink right now. So let's check our plan here. So we're going to go down this road and up here. Hopefully not have a huge... Actually, you know what? Maybe we should go this way and try to get in the back. Because I'm sure there's a bunch of zombies around there. Not going to be good, y'all. I can almost guarantee that. Um... What am I going to do? Okay, let's go ahead and take these vitamins. Alright. So if we do get a little tired, we can just take some more vitamins, and hopefully that'll fix us up for a little bit there. Raining again. Alright. Oh, hello there, lady. Poor sir, I can't tell. It's dark and stuff and rainy. There we go. It'd be really nice if I could find a uh, zombie or something that had a backpack on. Throw it out there. I don't know how we're unpleasantly hot, considering it's raining and we're probably soaked. Let's get our weapons ready. We're good. All right. Is that a gas station right there? I think it is. Been about to look at how narrow those things are. Yeah, that's the gas station. Don't really care about that. There. Got any windows back here? Or Anything? Huh. That was surprising. It was locked. I think it's this one anyway that I want to get into. 
but it looks like, unfortunately, it's locked. Well, there's nothing on the sides or behind, so I'd have to go in the front, huh? Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, hunting supply. No. Here's the door. Is it open? It is. Okay. Let's close that real quick. I'm gonna check these cars. You always want to have a getaway, just in case. Hey, we got a key, but no gas. And the engine looks like it's in kind of rough shape. Let's hop out real quick. Oh, no, the engine's fine. It's just, just out of gas. All right, that's all right. Let me get the trunk. Turn around. I'm going to take... This. Store what I can in there. Wait. Did I just unequip what I had on? Okay. What am I doing? Oh, I selected the bag, didn't I? Take the belt off too. Oh my god, I did. Okay, well, I'll shoot. Okay, do this then. Okay. I got most of what I wanted put in there. So, I need to take this plastic bag, get everything out of it. That way I can equip the uh, other thing here. Real quick, let's take a look at these, because if I can get one of these instead, I will. That one's locked. I'm not gonna find a key for it. Nothing really good in the back of this truck. The truck is also locked, but I do want to smash the window. Not raining, I can see if there was any keys or anything just lying around, but with all the, the rain and the darkness around me, it's, it's hard to tell. Alright, anyway, we're gonna have to siphon some gas. Perfect. This car does not hold very much, so we'll have to hopefully carry what we can. Side from the truck, too, while we're at it. I don't think there was much in there. There was a full tank. Okay. Whatever. Go ahead and fill this up. Got it. Nice. Go ahead and equip that again. My metal bar again. I'm going to put the gas can on the seats, along with some of the other stuff that I'm carrying that I do not need in my inventory. Okay. this zombie than have it coming after me in the ammo store. Oh, is that a screwdriver for me? Thanks. So, all right, let's just clear this place while we're at it. I don't think I see anyone else, so it looks good. If we do need food, we can just come in here for right now. I opened that door without having my hand on the mouse ready to kill anything that was in here. And, uh, it's not good. I could have just died right there. All right, I want to open up the map though. Uh, so let's make note. We have. Oh, I don't have the thing anymore. Never mind. I was gonna make note of what the areas we hear we are. What was in this area? Right, let's try and take a look 
inside here. There's a door back there. Looks like that does that lead back into that area or is that like a back entrance? Back in the back area. Hmm. So it looks like I can't get through here unless I get like a. Uh... Fuck, that sucks. Unless I get some sort of. Uh, what you call it? Sledgehammer that can go through this because it's not even like giving me a prompt to remove any of this stuff. So close yet so far. All right, let's see. Do we have a hardware store here? Beer and liquor. Something crock pot, I think that says. How far does this street go with like stuff? Another mall area up there. We're not carrying anything. Let's check it out. We're just gonna walk. We're not gonna run. We don't need to run. The Cozy Crock Pot is what it's called. That's a nice little name for a place. We have Homeward Real Estate. I was hoping that was going to be some place that I could potentially uh, get some seeds and stuff from. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Let's take care of it. I see another one over to the right. We'll deal with that though. Family fashion. Oh shit. Where did those two come from? I understand the one on the left, but the one on the right, what happened? To, where did that one come from? It wasn't there just a second ago. More insurance. Hey, buddy. services. Tools, there we go. You suppose they'll have a sledgehammer or maybe a propane torch welding mask? Maybe I just don't have the, uh, the prompt to disassemble that gate because uh, I didn't have a propane torch or something. I don't know. There's a welder mask. I'm going to grab one of them. Don't need multiple. I'm going to take this rope, too. This rope can be used to bundle up logs, which is what we're going to be doing here later, so... Once we uh, start expanding a little bit further. Planks, concrete powder. Uh, I'll take all the seeds we can find. Hey, music, can you not do that? Thank you. Welding rods. My computer made a little sound and it kind of scared me a bit. It sounded like someone hitting something. Almost. Two unwieldy trap man. Maybe I can use that to do something? I don't know. There we go. Sledgehammer, baby. Alright. Got what we needed, but we should still take a look and see what everything else around here is. You never know when you might find something like these. Alright. What about down here? Compost bag? Hmm. He's in crops. Interesting. What else we got? Fishing rod, fishing line, safety goggles, all that nonsense. Hard hat, which is worse than what I currently got. Ooh, broccoli seeds, I'll take them. Or paint torch, I'll take that. Thank you, sir. Never have too many of them. Since they're a limited resource, since we can't, like, make propane, you know. It's just a bathroom. Okay. Well, I might as well, uh... I guess not drink. I guess I can drink the toilet. 
fill a water bottle. They're a little hungry now. Well, before we uh, do anything else, let's head our way down here again. You know what? I'm gonna check this taxi. If this has its key in it, that would be excellent. Ooh! Baby! In the ignition. Oh! Let's go. This has more storage space than the previous car, so. Um, that'll be great. Or it should, anyway, as long as the trunk isn't, like, dead. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Engine off. Out of the car. Here they come. Look, it's exactly five. Oh, that's six, actually. Sorry. Well, it's only six, so I think we can handle them. Now it's five, so we're, we should be just fine, right? Now it's even less. Now it's even less. And now we're done. Hell yeah. Still could not find a backpack, but we have a car, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, right? Okay. Let's grab our stuff out of the truck here. I don't need a tire. So I don't need a tire. Check our back. Come with me. Under the trunk of the taxi, please. Come back. It's good. Go ahead and eat a chocolate bar real quick. Get our hunger satisfied. Right. Not everything else, other than the paint torch, can go back into here. I say back into here, but it's just going into there right now. Um, sledgehammer I need to keep just in case. Same with the welding mask. Give me that key. Give me all this stuff back, too. You know what? I'm going to put the key in the ignition here. In case we ever get, like, down here again. And we're in need of a car or something. It'd be very nice to have a car that has gas in it down here, right? Okay. We'll take a look now. Let shift over behind us. Now, I hit this Troy, I can just do this. There we go. All right, I'm going to re-equip my uh, metal bar and my plastic bag. Ugh. Slouch and it's fucking me over. All right. I didn't see any zombies here, so let's go ahead and just ooh start looting, baby. These are magazines I've never even heard of. I did a yeah, I added a couple of mods for some stuff. Uh, basically, I can um, make my own ammo potentially if that comes up. Right, so I, I can find like. Or I can break stuff down and use scrap metal to create bullet tips, but I have to have like a recipe for it or something. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to hit this place up. See if I could find some of that stuff. Right, let's take our, our loot out here to the taxi again. What in the taxi has just so much waiting for us here. I'm gonna put the sledgehammer. Oh, I can't put the sledgehammer in there. That's less than ideal. Anything else I can fit into this area? Okay. Well, let's hop in and I'll just put everything else in the seats. 
There we go. Let's do the little guys from the backpack. Maybe I can find a backpack in the gun store. Who knows? It does say hunting supply, so you gotta think maybe uh, the hunting supplies include backpacks to like carry your gear. Right? Just grab everything we can in the garbage bag here for now. Alright, I do want to take just a quick look around, see if I can find any uh, actual like backpacks or anything like that. That would be just excellent if I could. Because there's, there's so much stuff here. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting to find all of this, to be completely honest. Um, fuck, there's an AK, there's a revolver, there's a Mini-14. Yeah, I think this this mod really adds a lot of stuff, huh? Really wasn't expecting that. Wow, this is like a riot shield. I was like, what? Come over here. Does this have a backpack in it? Nope. Go back here. You got a you got a backpack for me? No, it'd be real nice if you did. Box of shells, box of shells, box of shells. Damn, nothing. No backpacks, huh? Gonna be more guns back here. <laughs> yep, there's gonna be more guns back here. Jesus. Why no backpacks? <laughs> Alright, so the other place has to be a, uh... A bathroom, I guess. I'm just gonna take, for right now, all the ammunition. I don't think I need everything that's here, right? Especially the, like, duplicate guns. Gun cleaning kit, I'll take that. Um, this ammunition, well, when we get back to our tower, we're going to be, like, decked out. Okay. Back to the rest in a moment. I should also take a look in the, tr in the taxi and see what I do not need there. Wait, okay, I thought one of these windows was not covered in metal bars, and I was going to be like, what the f- I mean, I could have snuck in here the whole time from that way. Because, like, for example, the double barrel shotgun I probably do not need or want. Because it's only going to be two shots, right? Store we can. Do the next batch. Store we can. These little I'll take it so I can drop it outside. But Jesus Christ, man. Club hammer, I think we can just drop. Um, like baseball bat, do not need. Toilet paper, do not need. Uh, pen, do not need. Just drop that one. What else we got in here uh, that I do not necessarily need? Let's go ahead and... Um, this can of oats. Let's go ahead and eat all that. That's a little bit of weight we do not need. I want to keep the melee weapons, though. Okay. That's good enough for now. Let's go back in and clear out the rest of the ammo. After we check this bathroom. Yep. Alright. Nothing in here. Now let's head to the back. We'll start at the back so we don't have to keep going back and forth all the damn time. All right. Now, I don't know how many magazines of each thing we want to grab, right? I mean, they're nice and convenient, but would they help us? I might take some of the mods, like this leather sling. Like, we have a bunch of, like, uh, deagle uh, 
things already, right? I don't think I need to necessarily bring the rest of that stuff. I grab everything else out of here. Let me just double check. I do want to grab the shotgun because I don't think we have that shotgun. the next stuff then. Thank god our guy is strong right now. And not like our wimpy little can barely carry 12 pounds kind of guy. Or is this in kilograms? I'm not being kilograms. Oh. That guy's probably not that weak, but still. Okay, yep, we're hurting now when we move, so let's go ahead and get Back to the car. Or the trunk. It's more exposed here at the trunk, so what we can get rid of now is pack the trunk. Plus we have to worry about anything going into Is there anything here that can fit in the trunk? Those can, perfect. Alright. Anything fit here? I'm a limiter box can. Perfect. I can probably drop a sledgehammer, actually, to be honest. Give me, give me that. Because that's like six pounds that we do not need with us. Okay. The R1022 rifle. I don't know what ammunition it takes. Uh, okay. Let's just uh, keep loading stuff in here. Gonna take a couple more trips at the minimum. That's everything there. Go ahead and load this shotgun along with the rest of the stuff in here. It'd be cool if we found an automatic shotgun here, wouldn't it? At least we'll be able to, like, tear apart some of the stuff here that we got. Like, uh, any... odd ammo types we get that we do not need, we can easily just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna throw that in the trash. Okay, let's see. I don't know why. The Tech 9, I know what it is, because it's, it's a little submachine gun, like machine pistol kind of thing. Shotgun straps, shell straps, I'll take those. These. A carbine, four times scope, doesn't really matter. Shotgun shells, gun cleaning kit. These two, we already have the M500. I don't have to worry too much about that. Over here in the corner, we have an MK2, which is a pistol, so I don't give a hell about that. A combination gun. It uses shotgun shells. Hmm. I'll just keep the uh, shotgun I currently have right now as the, the one I'm going to use, I think. Money, we got a Mini 18, whatever that is. Most of these I have no idea what the hell they are. Um, I will take this AK-47 uh, thing there. If I find any, like, magazines for uh, things that I know about... I'm going to take them. M1911 pistol, because that's a good pistol. At least to me in the world that we live in in real life. Same with the M9, that's a good one. For shotgun shells. I know I'm overweight here, so let's go. I think it's just the last one there, and then we'll be done with the L-shaped corner there. I don't know how much more I can carry in the taxi, though, is the problem. I have to make a couple of trips back this way, huh? Okay. So, I should be able to pack at least a couple of these loose rounds into here. Max that out. And then let's check the next one. If I can fit another round in there. How about these? Can I put those in there too? Sure, okay. That's going to be maxed out for that. We can fit these into here. 
And all of this stuff can go into here, hopefully. At least most of it can. Alright, that's going to be packed to the brim. And so is our grocery bag. Can I... If I put the grocery bag full of stuff in to the car, does it reduce the weight? Because if I look at the thing I'm carrying here, it says capacity is 8, encumbrance reduction is 30. So right now, this is worth eight pounds, right? If I were to say, take this stuff back out, let's, just, let's check this real quick. I take this stuff out, right? Could I then take this plastic bag and put it in here? So it's, it's five right now, right? 5.64, um, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so it's basically the same. Same amount. Unfortunate. Hoping I could maybe cheese it and have a little bit more uh, stuff in there. I don't think that's going to work, is it? There's still the glove box. I can hold only five pounds, but let's face it, that's not going to be a whole lot, is it? So the gun cleaning kit. I wonder, fix the durability of them? Hmm. Will this fit in here? It will. And these can also fit in there. Cool. I think everything else is, yeah, that's maxed, that's maxed, that's almost maxed. But it can't hold these. Fortunate. Um, so let's hop out. I think there was a garbage bag that I threw on the ground, right? There was a garbage bag somewhere, wasn't there? Hmm. Maybe in the back of the truck? Sack. I equip secondary. I could also, if I wanted to risk it, if I could find something else to put stuff in, I could take the primary that I'm carrying and just equip this into that, huh? I'll consider that while we continue to loot. I mean, like, I, I throw this metal pipe away and I put another bag in my hand, so I'm carrying two things, essentially. So I was getting that there. Man, look at this. It's been almost an hour, and we have basically just been looting uh, different... Just looting stuff. Just looting guns. I don't think I've seen an AK yet. Can I put these into the garbage bag? No. Unfortunate. Shell holder, magazine, magazine, magazine. More boxes of ammunition. Let's grab them. In. Okay, so yeah, what if I put the garbage bag in my primary hand? I'm currently at 20 that. Or at 20. Uh, I was at like 27 before, but what if I start packing this stuff into the garbage bag? Still at 27. What if I drop the metal bar? That sort of helps. Can I pack any of this into a. Thing. Doesn't look like I can. I'll put that into there. And actually, let me see here. Garbage bag, capacity 20, rate reduction is 10. What about the sack? About the same. Yeah. The switch them wouldn't have any impact. Alright, let me just go through everything one more time here on the back area. I want to see if there's like an AK or something that I missed because I was just looking at ammunition. I don't think there is, but you never know, right? Uh, we got a carbine, other stuff, a bipod. You can also check for uh, AK-47 magazines. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know what most of these guns are is my problem right now. Ooh, an M9 magazine. I'll grab that. God, I'm just carrying so much with me right now, right? Magazine. I think I need one of those. I'm just gonna grab it. I haven't even checked the last like couple areas right here. There's this bookshelf, which nothing in it, of course. But then there's this area down here. The nylon sling. I'll take that. Got a couple of rounds. M9 magazine, which I already grabbed one, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Um. More ammunition. We're gonna get like overweight here in like one second. There we go. Get rocked. Okay. Um, real quick, we're just gonna take more stuff that we can. Also, I should pack this into the garbage bag. Maybe it'll lower my problem. It did not. Okay. Well, let's check the last things over here real quick. Nope, those are fine. All right. Well, we got all the ammunition at least. Get the hell out of here. I was going to get in the white car for a second there. <laughs> All right. Yeehaw, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think we're going to be losing health now since uh, we're not moving. Right? So I'm just going to check the map real quick. I can't use that. Okay. Um, so if we go up this route, we can turn left. Go up left. Okay. Let's turn this thing around, man. I'm going to keep my health thing open, just to make sure it's not going down any further. Because if it is, that would be bad. So let's put our little thing here, and if we see it drop below that finger, uh, we know that I'm losing health. I don't think I should be, but I'm sorry, right? I wonder if I've driven past here before, and I just never realized there was a gun store there. I wonder if all gun stores are going to have a, uh, a grate blocking them out. If they do, that's unfortunate. Okay, it doesn't look like we're losing health, so I'm going to turn my lights on. I can see a little bit better in the rain and all that. Go ahead and avoid that car. Oh, I think we've been here before. Yeah, when we spawned in the ritzy neighborhood, I think we ran up this road. At least I recognize those gates. Then again, uh, they're, they're gates. They could be somewhere else, too. Who parks in the middle of the damn road? Come on. Also, it's been raining quite a lot. I, uh... I know I set the configuration for nature to be rainy, but the difference between normal, basically having no rain, and just, like, rain once that we saw, and then rainy, which is, like, it's rain what, three, four times in the past couple days? Like, in the past day, I guess? I wasn't expecting that road, okay. I think if we open up the map, we just gotta keep going this way and then face up the intersection, hit right, all right. The problem is going to be, do we have enough fuel? I suppose as long as we can get Close. All that's gonna matter. Really wish I had a backpack to put on so it would be easier to carry stuff, but if there's nothing else, we can ditch the car and just kind of make a mental note of where we left it. And uh, we'll have to drop one of the bags in our, of our carry, obviously. If that's gonna be way too much for us to, to deal with, but it might work. Just thinking, worst case scenario. But yeah, uh, one of the mods that I had installed was a um, ammunition reloading thing. So essentially you can take certain, like, I think it's like scrap metal or something like that to make it into uh, like bullet casings or something like that. And then you can take gunpowder from like other bullets and stuff you find. Or you can make it out of charcoal, I think it was, and then the other like bullet casings can be made from something else as well. So you can actually kind of renew your ammunition rather than having to go out and loot stuff, you know? So, that's what I installed, and then it required having that one that adds apparently all the guns in. So that's why I have all that 
the gun mods now. <laughs> That's a thing. I think I mentioned it before, but I also had installed a mod for the Molotovs because I found out that if you throw a Molotov, it takes like all of a lighter, and then like if you hold the, you have to have the lighter in your off hand, the Molotov in your main hand, throw it, but while the lighter is in your uh, off hand, it's constantly going, so it's um, causing that, that's a very yellow dress. I wonder if that's like a, a loot zombie or something. I need to open up the map and see where the hell we're at. We need to just keep going straight. We're almost out of fuel, but that's alright. I should have siphoned some fuel out of one of the other vehicles there and added a little bit more to this guy. But that's fine. So if we need to, we can go back down there to get more of those guns, but I think we should be fine with just the ammo we have. There are other gun stores in Louisville. I did look that up as well. But, uh, yeah. There's, like, the mall in the north uh, east, and then there's a place uh, to the north somewhere else there. But, uh... Well, that's a tree. Hold on, don't hit that. Okay, lights off. He's out. Let's go. I'm going home, I'm going home. Hopefully the zombies haven't fucked it up. Either that gate's open, or the zombies fucked it up. I'm honestly surprised my guy could make it up here. Carrying two sacks of, like, an excessive amount of ammunition, let's be completely honest here. Just an excessive amount of it. I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to put this every like put it somewhere. Right? Okay, well let's just <laughs> real quick over to our gun area and I can just go ahead and throw as much as it'll fit in there, which will lower my burden by quite a bit. But also make it so I'm pretty much maxed on my capacity now, so that's a thing. But I think if we go back over to this cabinet, it should have some more room in it now, so let's go ahead and toss that in there. I can sort through all the ammunition and stuff later. Alright, let's unequip the sack, unequip the garbage bag. We do have that other bag down there now, remember. And then if I look at here, I can go ahead and throw these into here. Woo wee! Okay. Before we go back down and continue getting our loot, I do want to read from our journal so we can learn more stuff. And then also, since we leveled up Nimble, um. Alright, I don't have a pen. Surely I have a pen somewhere, like, stashed away, right? Right? Give me this fanny pack. Give me the satchel. Um, I think I have a pen right here. Give me one of them. Cool. Alright, now I can go ahead and transcribe everything into the journal, which is basically just uh, the nimble experience. Alright, let's go ahead and go to bed. All right. And can go back in there. Ugh. All right, well, that was the start of Jimothy Faraday's journey here, folks. And uh, what a journey it was. We came back here stronger.
I think. I don't know. We got more guns, at least, so... We're ready to kill some zombies. We'll see just how many, um... Shotgun shells we have. Maybe we go for a, a bit of a killing spree. Try to get back to our bodies where we have our, our tools, our good backpack, and all the other stuff. Because, uh... Going around with the satchel ain't gonna be good. But if we die again, oh my god. Well, anyway... We'll wrap things up here. The tale of Jimothy has just begun. Uh, I'm going to go back and forth a little bit and bring stuff up so that way we don't have to go through that tediousness uh, when we start next time. But until then, bye-bye.